The search for the Lost Systems Gold Mine is an in-person teamwork and development exercise with an emphasis on communication, collaboration versus competition, and resource management, but is easily customizable to cover almost any point of emphasis you'd like to get out of it. The exercise has been used by dozens of global Fortune 500 companies, with just a few examples shown here. Since releasing the first version of the Search for the Lost Touchman's Gold Mine in 1993, over 500,000 individuals in over 40 countries have experienced the challenges and opportunities brought out during the gameplay. But don't just listen to me. Please take a moment to pause the video and read what some of our past clients have to say about the Dutchman. Now that I hopefully have your interest, please allow me to take a couple minutes to go deeper into the mechanics of the game and some of the challenges participants will experience during the gameplay, as well as how the gameplay can be used to have a successful debriefing and provide for meaningful takeaways for both the individual participants as well as the organization as a whole. The game is set in the Superstition Mountains of Arizona, in the southwestern United States, where we have discovered the fabled Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine, a mine of lore lost since the late 1890s, which is said to contain limitless veins of gold. As the expedition leader, you have assembled a group of teams whose goal is to make their way to the mine and remain there for as long as possible and return before a specified time, with the objective to mine as much gold as we can. But as the game progresses, certain teams will realize that collaborating with the other teams will benefit everyone and that the overall goal is not to see which team can win the game, but how teams can work together to benefit the group as a whole. A long-term user, David Simpson of Team Building Asia, had a few things to share with us about the topic. We all talk about collaboration, but in reality we compete. And I think when they understand that in the game, it's not team one, two, and three. It's the organization that we're trying to um, that we're trying to enhance, and also that competition is good because it challenges you to get results quickly. So if you have the three teams, competition is good because they're all trying to beat each other. But once they get to a certain level and they've worked out the information, the best practice is then to share that, and that's where the collaboration brings even greater results. The topography, resource management, and weather conditions are three variables teams will have to manage during the game. The balance of all these factors, variables, and challenges is simple enough for teams to grasp, yet challenging and dynamic enough to make for an engaging, entertaining, and eye-opening experience for your participants. Please, feel free to contact us. We have versions for any group size, upfront and simple pricing, and include certification to deliver the exercise yourself or Choose from other certified facilitators in our network to lead your organization so we can mine as much gold as we can. And remember, have fun out there.